Welcome to Shivering Timbers Dojo. Tonight we're going to do Tadori Jiu Jitsu Tip 3 Shoulder and Head. Uh, so, from the shoulder, uh, this one is a push defense. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward how to split a block and go from there. The head defense tonight is the defense against the Dakishime each or the guillotine choke. Um, this is, of course, the defense standing. You can also use this from kneeling, it does not work. Once somebody puts you in the guillotine and lays back on the ground, then you have to use another escape. This is a really good one. Uh, I, I like this one from standing. Try it with pressure. You're going to find that it's you know, not always the easiest to choke somebody standing in the guillotine, but you see it. And the secret is not to pull out, but to go through. So we'll work on that. We'll also work on the push from the shoulders first. Tadori Orange Belt, tip three, the shoulders. This is Momiji Osu. Uh, Momiji, the, just like Momiji Hazushi and Danzenru, the maple tree, and the push. So she's going to push at me with two hands. Ah! Just like that. So, the Momiji is you break the push's uh, direction. So, do the whole thing. To here, into the pullback choke. Again. Boom to there. Pull and push right to there. <laughs> Into the choking. Okay, so what am I doing? So if she's going to push me, ugh, I need to not let her do that. Now I can do a couple things. I could try and do this, but every time I see somebody small do this against a big person, <laughs> it's not real effective because I can, uh, and I can really just, ugh. and so trying to do that against somebody who's pushing you doesn't work as well. So she's really trying to just uh, I'm going to turn to the side and stop it. Ready? Go. So I stepped back and shifted my body to the side. Basically I took the power from here and redirected it around me. You ready? Straight into the elbow. Bang. As I drop this, I turn that elbow around. Notice I push the small to the back. If they're bigger than you, this is a real big deal right here. Push right here, right into a dakshime knee, the rear naked choke. Other side. Boom! With the elbow. Right to here. Push that back. Oh, yeah. Even if they're smaller, if you. And, and it's not some weird nerve strike where you literally just shove your knuckles right in that small of the back and make them go, ah! and choke themselves. Okay? Now. Let's try a small person trying this big guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shove you. I'm going to push you real hard. You're going to break that all the way up and elbow. Yeah? You got this? Ah. That was off balance quick. <laughs> I want you to really focus on that elbow as you come up. Okay? You ready? Okay, let's work on something. So you keep you keep doing the Omiji. You're pushing me. And you're out here. Where's the elbow? That's not elbowing me. That doesn't hurt me. Let's make them regret life. So to make them regret life, as they push you, let's make them regret ever having grabbed you, yes? Now you'll watch. As I do the Momiji, I come up. Both hands come up, one kind of stays and grabs, the other pulls you into that elbow. And then circles you right around for fun and games, yeah? Let's try that. Boom, and grab that. That's better. Try the other side. Boom, yes, get that elbow. Well, okay, non orthodox, but yeah, it works. So, sometimes it's ugly. The point being is as, see, look, I'm pulling into that elbow. Bam. Now, everybody's yelling at me on the internet right now. You can't just grab the hand. What if they get it away? Indeed. Let's try that. So you're pushing me hard. Ah, well, I've already got the hand. You gave it to me. Right? So, one, there are very few people in this world who you can pull on elbow uppercut in the face 
and not have an effect on it. Like, they will react to that far before they react to you grabbing a little wrist. Yes. So, as they push, boom! And then keep a hold on that wrist, because that's the turn, that's the turn, that's the turn. And there's the turn. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. When they come in and push, boom! And then don't let go until I have to. Right? All right. That is Momiji Oso. So Dori Orange Belt, tip three in the head, is the Mai Hadakushime Hazushi. So the Mai Hadakushime or Hadakushime Ich. She puts me in the guillotine choke. All right? That's like this. All right. I try to pull. Oh, shit, this is going to go harder. So I'm going to push in this way. Out to here, and out to here. How'd that work out for you? I don't like that. Okay, try again. All right. So again, I'm not turn. She's got that. I can't turn out of it this way. Go ahead, get it. But I can use my whole body to come through and attack that joint. So, what am I doing here? Throw this in. All right, so if I can, I want to shove my arm through, right? I like that. I can use my whole body to shove that through, and I'm going to get a hold of this wrist, and I'm going to bend it up right here. I've got the hammer lock. Now, we've done this before, where we put the thumb right on the edge of the jaw and separate, or if you really mean, grab That ain't nice, is it? Other side. So she's got me here. Oh, her. I'm going through. Grab here. Right up in here. They try to turn out. Just grab a handful of ghee, or some hair, or some skin, some back hair, whatever you can. Mm. All right. So this is one that is far more effective in the eye dot because the very next move as we know in the guillotine is to fall back and really put the doshime on them crush the body choke the neck let's avoid that so to avoid that as she grabs me don't ever get in the move well that's cheating yep cheat if if that head's coming down you know where it's going just cheat that's me yeah sure it is <laughs> no <laughs> ah, and I came right back around there. Aww. What if you lose control and you don't get the hammer lock? Good. At least you're not getting choked. Like, there's worse fates to have, yes, than to be beside them and not being grabbed. <laughs> being choked from the front is a great way to pass out. Now, if you're a little guy, you can climb up them. You know, they might throw you. Uh, I've watched that sort of thing happen. But the big thing is to shoot through. Now, let's try it with somebody of size <laughs> versus somebody of less size. So she's going to use her hand and really drive that whole body through because that's her only hope. Yes? You got it? All right, you got this. No! Oh, you didn't let me lock down! No, oh, you dirty, dirty cheater, you! Try it again! <laughs> you dirty cheater, you! You're the one who taught me! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Now, this time... Don't cheat. Let me lock it in a little bit just to see how much effort it takes versus the cheating. Yes? All right. I got you here. I'm locked in. All right. Drive, 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 drive. Come on. Come on. There it is. <laughs> Better. Now, remember, it might be harder to grab here. You can also grab across that if it's a little easier for you. All right. You ready? I'm going to lock this in. It's going to be hard. There you go. Push, push, push. Drive, 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 drive. Yep. Yeah. Here, grab, grab it there. Pull that. Oh, yeah, there you go. A little easier for you. For, for somebody who's taller than you, go for this. You're still choking, right? So, if I'm taller, or about the same size, this is pretty effective. But just remember, <laughs> you can use that gi to your advantage if they've got one, right? <laughs> There's always something. Now, which was easier? Moving before I lock down or moving after I lock down? Moving before. 
Absolutely. Moving before I lock down is way easier. So you don't always get that opportunity. Now you were you able to shove your uh, arm through and get your whole body through, but you had to work for it. One more time. Work for it. Work for it. Come on. Come on. Oh, by the time you get there, by the time the arm is through, and you can step when you turn, I, I literally have to let go. One more time. Come on. Oh, oh, you cheated! Oh, you're dirty! Ah, you dirty scoundrel! So again, as you grab me, right here, shoot in, shoot the foot in, get the whole body in, to right here. And here, we'll just do this one. Other side, we gotta shoot in, shoot the foot in, shoot the whole body in. Grab the hand if you can, because you're gonna come right back here. Right to here, oh, grab that knee. That was Tadori Orange Belt, tip three, from the shoulders and the head. I really like that shoulder one from a push. Uh, pushes are common. Turn your body. Practice that one at full speed. Watch the elbow, but, but definitely work on the stepping, the turning, and the catching, and then just you know control the elbow. And then, again, practice with some resistance, getting into that, uh, getting into that rear naked choke, or hadakushi um, mini. Definitely work on, you might have to spin them one way and then the other way. Practice with some resistance to that, see what it takes. Turns out though, if you smack somebody with a uh, elbow pretty hard, getting them to turn is generally not super difficult because they want to avoid the pain. If they turn their head, let them go in that direction and turn them right around. Same thing when you work on your uh, escape from the Hadakshime each or the Gitting. You know, absolutely turn your head, turn your body, Work with resistance. Have somebody try and choke you. If you can't get out, work faster. You know, work on where you can see where they're doing it so that you can work out and get to there. So again, if you don't like these, well, you know, come try it with us. See what you're missing. Other than that, stay safe. Thanks.